In 22.1, Tableau introduced something called the Workbook Optimizer, essentially a series of tests and checks that Tableau does to make sure your workbook is optimized for production. In 22.2, they're adding five additional tests to that feature. Let's get stuck in. So I've just recorded a video about the extension gallery inside of the product, and I was looking at an accelerator built by my colleague about Tableau Server. That's what's open here. And I've actually run the workbook optimizer, and you can see here that there are 17 tests. If I switch to a previous version of Tableau, you can see there's actually 12 in the past. So there's five additional tests. Now I didn't know a way to easily figure out what these changes are. I'm not looking at the release notes. So what I did is I essentially took a screenshot of all the features and I put them on one page. And so if we actually go through this, it's much easier to see what's going on. In essence, the first screen grab is from the newest version of Tableau 22.2. The second one is from 22.1. And so we can go through each of these sections for the same workbook and see which tests are new. So let's first start with the very top uh, section here. There's obviously nothing new in terms of things that have failed in this workbook. So there's no new check that's coming up with a red issue here. However, if I go to the next section, you can see that at the very top we have four, whereas before we had three, which means there's one new test. And if we just go down the list, you can see that the newest option here is a test that checks whether it's used a date calculation or not. If I go back to the products and I go back to the new test here, I can actually expand this and look at that piece of text and it says here the date source new audit tables contains nine date calculations date logic can be complicated minimize the amount of date calculations and conversion you have to do in tableau if necessary use date pass and make date before other methods and try and use built-in functions like date diff when possible if filtering on date use relative date filters as a continuous date filter instead of a discrete filter essentially those perform a little bit better so there's a little bit more context to how this all works and again if i click on the learn more capability um, it takes me to this page which Tableau have sort of been updating over time. So I think they're going to add more and more of these tests. You can see it's still got the documentation for the uh, previous version of Tableau, but this will be updated for the newest version and should have the notes about the new test there as well. So that's the first test, uh, users date calculations. Let's switch back to our list and let's try and find the next one. Obviously, I've got nothing else in Amber, but if I go over to the green section, in the new version, I got 11 that passed, and in the previous version, I got 7. So that means there's four new tests in here that we need to find. So let's go ahead and try and look at these. The first one is number of data sources. That's exactly the same. Uh, unused data sources. My hunch is actually these, gonna be, these are all going to be at the bottom. If I go right to the bottom, number of filters, yeah, you can see that all the, all, the, all the checks are just being added in a sort of sequential order. They're right here at the very bottom. So if I actually, I went to take a screenshot there, what I actually meant to do is annotate these like this. So the four tests are users data blending, dashboard size not fixed, live data connection, and users groups. These are actually really important ones. I, I'm surprised some of them didn't make it to the original release, but here they are. Let's go take a look and see what those tests actually do. Let's go to the right version of Tableau as well to do that. Let's open up the 11 that pass and go right to the bottom. Let's start by looking at users data blending. So if I open up that one, the workbook follows best practice for this guideline, so it's working perf perfectly fine. But the text reads this, data blending performance is driven by the number of unique num members in the linking fields. Consider using relationships when possible. If a blend is required, try to use low cardinality linking fields. That makes a lot of sense. Try reduce the amount of blending because it's a very resource intensive way of querying your data. Dashboard size not fixed. Now I come across dashboards that have changing parameters all the time. And I always tell clients, hey, you do know that you are incurring a performance penalty by doing this. And they don't understand why. And essentially I have to start explaining really weird concepts about Tableau server and caching. But the short story is this, if your dashboard doesn't have a fixed size, Tableau can't create a cached copy of that workbook because it doesn't know what size screen the user is going to have. So what it does is it basically renders the visualization new every single time, stopping it from being fast and performant. If you go to a typical website, what websites typically do is actually store most of that information in cache. They don't render it new every single time someone visits because that takes a lot of computing power. Same here. If you don't have a fixed dashboard size, it's not going to allow you to use the caching capability that works on Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. So that in turn leads to performance issues. And you can see here that Tableau have added it to the checklist. That's something really good to be aware of. Now it's a check in the optimizer. Live data connection. The workbook follows best practice for this guideline. Tableau extracts are designed to be as efficient as possible for use with analytics. 
Using extracts is one of the easiest ways to improve performance due to the data source. Extracts also have more native features for optimization. So essentially just hinting to people that, hey, you've got a live connection, try using an extract instead. And I also do tell people this quite a lot. Extracts should normally always be the best performing uh, data source. Even if you have a rip raw, you know, fast database, in very few circumstances, will an extract perform slower? So just bear that in mind. Um, Uses grouping. So this is the final test. Tableau's native grouping functionality loads the entire domain of the field, which can have a performance impact. Using a calculated field with a case statement to group instead can have better performance. So we're not using grouping here, but essentially it's saying there's a couple of capabilities here in SQL that perform a bit better than the way the native grouping functionality works. So you might be getting a few performance benefits by doing grouping in a specific way. Again, once the documentation is out on this, you'll get a lot more detail when you click on that learn more option. So that's all the new optimizer checks that are being done in 22.2. Let me know what you think of those checks. What checks are still missing? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.